All right, so the Orlando Magic just did this. They're headed toward a rebuild. They've traded, you know, their best player, uh, Nikola Vucevic. And they also did this. Sports Center Adrian Wojnarowski is saying the Denver Nuggets are closing in on a trade for Magic forward Aaron Gordon. And this. They're gonna trade Evan Fournier. Now for the average Magic fan, this is a complete tragedy. But for the hardcore Magic fan, they know that this tragedy does not start in 2021. This tragedy started a long, long time ago, back when the team and the NBA both looked very, very different. The tragedy of the Orlando Tragic begins in 2012 with this awkward interview. But I ain't worried about that, so. Yeah, Stan, we're not worried about that, right? That's what I just said. We gotta be worried about winning games. Yeah, what's our main concern right now? Jameer. We have to uh, stop Carmelo Anthony and the New York Knicks tonight. And the New York Knicks. And that's exactly That's right. the plan, right? That is the plan. That's what oh, I yeah. just said. What was true? Stan said that you wanted him fired. I said that? Yeah, that's what Stan said. Who did I say that to? According to Mr. I don't know. I'm just telling you. I'm, I'm asking you. Because you guys got so many sources. You see, in case you don't understand the context behind this interview, this man named Dwight Howard, who was the star player for the Orlando Magic at the time, had requested the Magic to fire their head coach, Stan Van Gundy. Now Dwight had thought that Stan had lost his voice with the locker room and players did not respect him as much. And I guess he had forgotten that just three years before this moment that Stan had led Dwight and the Orlando Magic to the NBA Finals. So now the front office had a choice. Do they side with Dwight and fire Stan? Or do they side with Stan and make Dwight stick with him? They made the wrong choice. They chose Dwight and fired Stan Van Gundy. Now, why was this the wrong decision? Well, Dwight would ask for a trade anyways after the firing of Stan Van Gundy. So, not only did they lose their head coach, but they also lost their star player. And in return, they got a tragic story in the making. You see, they traded Dwight to the Lakers in a three-team deal with the Denver Nuggets. And the Magic in return got players like Aaron Aflalo. But most importantly, they got the second-year center that went by the name of Nikola Vucevic. Yes, that same Vucevic that was traded today. Now, with Vucevic being one of their key players, the Magic would play the next six straight NBA seasons and never reach the NBA playoffs. Now, keep in mind that 50% of the teams in the NBA reached the playoffs. That shows just how inept this franchise was at running a team. For six straight years, they were bad. Now, this might come as a surprise, but the problem wasn't that they were bad. The problem was that they were never bad enough. After Dwight was traded, these were the string of draft picks that the Orlando Magic made before they would next make the playoffs in 2018. Now let's compare these picks compared to where the Magic finished in the standings that season. You see the NBA draft order is different from the MLB or the NFL in the sense that it's a lottery. Having the worst record in the NBA doesn't solidify your draft pick, but rather you're put in a pool with other teams that didn't make the playoffs and everyone has a chance at getting the number one pick based on their final standing for that given season. So as you can see, there are only two instances where the Magic got the pick that they deserved. In every other instance, they got a worse pick than they should have gotten. So part of this tragedy is just the Magic were unlucky. But also the Magic didn't do their due diligence in tank. Only one time did they have the worst record in the NBA. Now this is important because the NBA draft is different from the MLB and NFL draft in the sense that the NBA draft is incredibly top loaded. The first one, two, three picks are often way, way, way more valuable than a late first round pick. Look at all the players that the Magic missed out on because they were never bad enough to secure the top pick of the draft. In 2013, when they had a top two pick, they picked Victor Oladipo, who would become one of three All-Stars from that entire draft class. In 2014, they picked Aaron Gordon, another solid player. But the pick before that was Joel Embiid. And imagine the magic with Joel Embiid. 2015, they picked Mario Hezonia. Now he's probably the worst pick among all of these picks. But look at the players that went in the draft before him. Cat, D'Lo, Kristaps. The magic were unlucky. 
2016, again, they just had a mid first round pick and the top three that went in that draft, Ben Simmons, Brandon Ingram, Jalen Brown. 2017, Jonathan Isaac, solid pick that we'll discuss in a little bit. But the top five in that draft class, Lonzo Ball, Jason Tatum, De'Aaron Fox. The Magic could have looked incredibly different if they just swallowed a little bit of humble pie and said, okay, we're going to tank. But even still, they managed to build a solid team this year. Those draft picks were solid picks, and the franchise looked like it had finally made a turn. The Magic had traded for and signed Markel Fultz to a longer term deal, and Fultz was balling out on a per 36 minute basis. He put up better stats than Lonzo Ball. They were waiting on the return of Jonathan Isaac, who in his one game in the bubble had 16 points in 16 minutes. They also had great vets like Vucevic and Terrence Ross and Evan Fournier. And the Magic started off the season 5-2 until this happened. Fultz driving on a Coro. He goes down and grabbing his left knee. And this was the beginning of the end. The Magic became trash without Fultz and with another long string of injuries to its players, they just started losing a whole bunch of games. And the team that I genuinely think was one superstar player away from an NBA championship made the stupid decision that the rebuild that was almost over would begin again. And in doing so, they traded away Aaron Gordon, they traded away Evan Fournier, and they traded away Nikola Vucevic. And so the tragedy continues. The Magic currently have the fourth worst record in the NBA. And in this year's draft class, there is again a huge drop off between the top three, four players and the fifth player. And so if bad luck strikes again, the Magic might be doomed to nine more years of rebuilding.